GE was the first company to go into commercial service with what's, uh, what would be called a lean burn combustion system. Going into the 9X, we knew we needed to continue to build on that and have very robust ways of evaluating the design. There's only a couple examples in the aviation industry where we've made such a big change. One is when we've moved from wood to metal, moving from props to jets, moving from metals to ceramics, the ceramic matrix composites in this case, is that big of a change. We use CMCs in the combustor to do the liners. Again, liners in the combustor require a lot of cooling air. What the CMCs allow us to do is to be able to run hotter with less cooling air. That is a brand new technology for us and probably one of the biggest motivators for the tech med. We said to the business, if we're gonna do this right, we really need to have a facility to test these designs before we get to the engine. So we had to go build it and we're investing $100 million here in Cincinnati to do that. We're testing almost constantly, yeah, and sometimes in more than one rig. So we've got three different rigs. We've got two single cup rigs and a sector rig that, that is basically a 90 degree sector of the full combustor. And with that rig, we can go to the full engine conditions and beyond. By having a better understanding of these technologies and having them more mature as we go through the process, we end up with a product that'll be more reliable and more durable at entry into service. The reason GE can develop technologies like CMCs it is because of the commitment and the passion that the business has for new technology. We take on the hard problems because that's what we do. That's what our people are passionate about.